Tooth brushing. We all do it. We all want clean teeth. We want to look good. But you know something? Only in crowdfunding would they develop a device to do it for us. Here are six of them. Look at them and weep. In crowdfunding, if one campaign is successful, strangely enough, you're going to see an awful lot of other campaigns pile on to that category with surprisingly similar products, and it looks like every single one of them is making money in order to bring their product to the marketplace. Such it is with the lowly toothbrush. Here we see six of them all following one after the other directly into crowdfunding like ducks following the mother duck. All of them made money and to the best of my knowledge none of them have delivered anything worthwhile yet. But we're going to concern ourselves with just one campaign. It's the one down in the corner there, Amabrush. Now Amabrush claims to be the world's first automatic toothbrush. And as you can see by what I'm about to highlight right here, they pulled in a whopping amount of money. In fact, all of those so-called automatic or electric toothbrushes that you saw crowdfunded earlier pretty much copied the look and feel that Amabrush brought to crowdfunding. They also all pulled in a whopping amount of money. Why? Who knows other than the fact that people are going to be attracted to the gee whiz factor. Would you like to see what Amabrush supposedly was bringing to market? Let's take a look at the video. Introducing Armor Brush, a revolutionary new toothbrush that brushes your teeth automatically in just 10 seconds. Armor Brush was designed to make your teeth brushing experience more efficient. It's super easy to handle. The magnetic connection between the mouth and handpiece allow you to easily swap mouthpieces between different family members. The toothpaste foam is delivered through the mouthpiece directly to your teeth. Afterwards, the mouthpiece vibrates in order to oscillate the bristles. You can save up to 100 days of your life just by using Armor Brush. Antibacterial silicon kills 99.99% of bacteria. It uses the recommended toothbrushing method by dentists. The low voltage technology saves a lot of energy each time you brush your teeth. It uses the perfect amount of toothpaste automatically. And Armor Brush is waterproof and works with braces and dental prosthesis. With Armor Brush, even those nights when you're exhausted from work, it'll be easier than ever to brush quickly so you can continue to take care of your teeth. Armor Brush the world's first automatic toothbrush. That's right. Amabrush made the incredible claim when it came out that it could brush your teeth in just 10 seconds flat. Isn't that an incredible thing to have? And just look how high tech it looks. The whole idea was that you just stuck it in your mouth, turned it on, waited 10 seconds, spit out attractively, and your teeth would be clean. What could possibly be wrong with this picture? Well, it turns out there were several things wrong with it. And one of the first things that really was wrong, and the one that everyone ignored as the elephant in the room, they only had, at best, a prototype. 
They were nowhere near production on this thing, or so we thought. Then there was the thing that everyone seemed to ignore, the old adage of something being too good to be true because of the way it was claimed to be working really seemed to apply here. Honestly, did anyone truly, truly believe that by pressing a single button and then waiting 10 seconds, you would have perfectly clean teeth every single day? And later on in the campaign, you might even want to take a look at that last little sentence there in the blurb I'm showing you. That says, and I quote, Due to high demand, estimated shipping will no longer be February 2018. More and more specific information about ETA will follow in January 2018. Huh? Oh well. Thank you for understanding and for your patience. Another big warning sign, and one that really should be flashed on anything that's being crowdfunded. I have yet to see a lot of crowdfunders able to make their self imposed deadlines at the outset, and usually there can be two or three or four or even more delays or even nothing shipped at all. More on that later. I have to admit, though, if you go through these four facts, they probably gave you the dumbest reasons why people do not brush their teeth I have ever seen, and I trust that none of you are really guilty of these things, particularly fact number two. The average toothbrushing time being 60 seconds or one minute instead of the recommended 180 seconds or three minutes. If that is accurate, there is a reason for those times, and I would think that if anybody really treasures their teeth, they would be brushing their teeth for that full three minutes. Fact number three is really kind of a hoot. Are you worried about wasting 108 whole days over your entire freaking life to just brush your teeth? Especially if, as my father and mother both told me, if you take care of your teeth, they will take care of you? Well, let's look and see what was said in some of the comments. It is now after mid-May. This, of course, was sent in 2019, and after a large number of delays upon delays upon delays. Again, it's now after mid-May. Amabrush said delivery would be completed by mid-May. You guys can wait for another lie, or you can initiate a dispute on your credit card transaction. Get your money back while you still can. Hmm. Let's see if there's another one like this. Here's a comment that gives everyone hope. For everyone waiting for their product, they actually deliver, at least in Germany. But don't be too hopeful. The item you receive is pretty much useless. Even if you use it for 30 seconds and two times in a row, it cleans pretty much nothing. At best, you may get a refund if you ask and yours hasn't been shipped yet. Mine has no broken parts or anything like that. It's just not cleaning the teeth. I strongly advise you to do your best to get out of it. And then there's this. Weeks ago, I received this from Amabrush. Quote, We will soon release a new update regarding shipping and production. Please stay tuned. Thank you for your patience. End quote. Clearly, they don't mean it and refuse to indicate a date when I questioned when soon it would be. Perhaps a good idea for everyone is to contact them the way I did at support at amabrush.com. Marcel says the following, I also received my Amabrush and it looks great. Unfortunately, it doesn't do anything. I can't believe a test could be positive. It does not clean. Bye-bye money. 
Don't buy and try to get refund if possible. It's a scam. And apparently, while some people, as you saw, got something, it looks like the majority received nothing at all, as you see right here. Tried to get refund, but was told I can only get a refund after delivery, and I should then contact them for refund. It's two years and still not received my pledge. Useless campaign. I believe my money is wasted lost. Wonder what legal comeback there is to get a refund. And then there is this last painful question. So will I get my money back? Well, I'm afraid that the last update is going to tell you the story. And here it is. June 5th, 2019, 7.28 a.m. Important information regarding Amabrush. Dear all, Unfortunately, we need to inform you that our Amabrush journey is coming to an end. Please click here to get more information. And what do we see when we click there? The Amabrush web page, where we get that important information regarding the Amabrush company, dated June 5th, 2019. And it's here that we see the following. As you may know, we faced a lot of chips and downs in the past three and a half years. We took up challenges like securing initial funding with our very own money to get things started, hiring people who believe in our idea, develop functional prototypes, creating a crowdfunding campaign in order to let interested people like you participate in this history, influencing product, preparing for production, facing production quality issues, as well as positive and negative press. And now you know what a run-on sentence looks like. Just to mention a few, the whole Amabrush team worked so hard in the past years, and many of you participated in a great way to realize our common dream, a 10 seconds toothbrush. And then, here is the kicker. Unfortunately, we need to inform you that our journey comes to an unplanned end. Amabrush has to file for insolvency today. We are really sorry that we don't have any better news for you. Still, we want to share every detail with you and wrap, wrap up our history. <laughs> so that you can understand what brought us to this point. I seriously doubt that too many people are understanding at this point. It looks very much like Amabrush was an intentional failure. The money is gone. They are not obligated to try and pay back anybody that did not receive an Amabrush. And this is not uncommon in crowdfunding. Remember, when you're getting something through crowdfunding, you are not actually buying a product. You're pledging money and giving money up front for an idea, for a maybe thing. That's what happens to Amabrush. That's what's going to happen to an awful lot, if not all, of those six, including this one, electric toothbrushes that promise that you can clean your teeth anywhere from 60 seconds to 10 seconds. I believe there was even one that was claiming three seconds. If it is too good to be true, it probably is. But why and why, why in the world should you crowdfund something like this when after all, all you have to do if it's that good, wait for it to come to market. People will beat a path to the door of that maker. And then you can read the reviews. 
you can talk to people that actually own these things. Find out how well they work. If there are any quirks, any problems with quality. But no, no, you have to be on the bleeding edge, don't you? You don't care whether or not anyone has made one yet. You've got to be able to say, I'm going to be getting that first group, don't you? Well, at least in the case of Amabrush and all of the others, you can say that somebody got something out of it, just not you. This has been Crowdfunding Hell.